Hello, it's Andy here again, and welcome to episode four in our series about the energy retrofit of the old cottage next to the greenie flat. This week we're going to focus on reef lining the eaves and how to properly ventilate the roof space. So here you can see a portion of the eave uh, where the asbestos was taken off. So this was lined with asbestos. And the asbestos, if you look very carefully, there's a little groove here. So the asbestos was slid into that groove and then attached to these horizontal pieces of wood underneath. Now up here you can see where we've insulated the wall and you can also see the bit of the roof insulation. Now this gap here above the insulation and underneath the roofing is very important in terms of allowing air to move inside the attic of the house. So we looked at a range of possible materials for relining these eaves. Uh, the most common thing to use on houses these days would be fibre cement board but it has to be painted and the client who happens to be my mother is very keen on avoiding paint on the outside of the building wherever possible so we've settled on this uh, very thin type of plywood it's a hardwood bracing plywood and uh, the nice thing about it is that we can stain it so it doesn't have to be painted but then it'll slot very nicely into that groove so here we've got our, our piece of plywood stained up with a hole cut in it, ready to go. Um, so we just have a little bit of prep work to do before we put them up under the eaves. So we have these, uh, found these nice little aluminium vent covers with the louvers on them. So we're going to uh, mount that over the hole, but these don't have a screen on them. So we also have some uh, aluminium fly screen that we'll uh, cut into pieces just slightly smaller than the vent cover so that will go underneath and uh, screen the vent. And these vents are very important for allowing air to flow up through the eave and into the roof via that space above the insulation. So there we have it. We've got our uh, nice screened and louvered vent and that's ready to go up underneath the eave now. So all we have to do now is put this up and slot it into that groove that the asbestos came out of along the side and then tap it into the same groove along the end and there it is in place. So I just have to screw that on and uh, do that all the way around the building. So here's the finished product and those vents are very important to make sure that the attic is properly ventilated so that it stays cool in summer and doesn't have condensation problems in the winter. Thanks for watching and visit greenieflat.com.au for more information.